Happy Shahan was born and raised in East Texas, attended Baylor University, and in 1938 married Virginia Webb. Soon after the couple married, Virginia's father passed away, and Happy was asked to manage the family's ranch, now known as the Shahan Ranch, located just outside what was then a prosperous little town called Brackettville. The town had grown economically thanks to Fort Clark Army Base. Happy opened a lumber yard and a feed mill to help support the ranch, and Happy became an important figure in the community. He was mayor of Brackettville in the early 50s, and since 1946, when Fort Clark had closed, the town was going bankrupt. I mean, the population was leaving because they lost their military base. With the army base closed, Brackettville was left nearly deserted. The town lost more than half its population and 90% of its business. Happy decided to turn to Hollywood for help. He was sure Brackettville would be the perfect backdrop for Western movies. He knew no one in Hollywood, but took the risk and took the trip. Over 10 long, frustrating days, Happy visited seven major studios, but no one truly saw Happy's vision. At his last stop before going home, one person did listen, and she made a very important phone call. He didn't know who she was calling, but it turned out to be a fellow named Harry Templeton, who was a big producer at uh, Paramount Studios. Now, in, at one point, she stopped and she covered the receiver and she said, did you say you were from Brackettville, Texas? Harry Templeton and Happy Shahan had a mutual friend, Colonel Louis Hobbs from Fort Clark. The receptionist who took up Happy's cause was actually no receptionist. She was Walt Disney's personal secretary, a heavy hitter in Hollywood. Happy was at the right place at the right time with the right idea, and he wouldn't have gone if he'd have listened to the locals in Brackettville saying you're crazy. Templeton was about to produce a big Western movie, Arrowhead, and he wanted to leave Hollywood to do it. Happy was interested in bringing movies to Brackettville and didn't really want to do them here on the ranch. He wanted to keep this private, but he wanted to get the business to sell lumber to the companies. And he knew everybody else in Brackettville would make out like a bandit. Happy successfully brought three movies to the Brackettville area to be shot for Hollywood. But he was determined to bring a big time Hollywood actor and producer to Brackettville, John Wayne. Wayne already had a plan to film his next big project, The Alamo, in Mexico, and could not be swayed to bring the film back to Texas. So he said they argued for two and a half years. And he said, I didn't win the argument. John Wayne's plans changed. And now, many years later, we know why they changed. The president of Mexico called Mr. Wayne and said, uh, we have reconsidered. We're not going to let you shoot a movie about the Alamo down here. We don't like that story. The locals in Durango ran off with all of John Wayne's adobe bricks. So it was a, it was a, a double whammy, and Wayne pretty much figured, I guess I better go to Texas to make the movie. And that's when he came out here, and Happy took him on a four-county tour, and he never saw anything he liked. Came out here afterwards, and, and the guy said, why didn't you bring me here in the first place? From here, there's a, a beautiful mesa on the horizon, and that's what captured John Wayne's imagination. He said, I want that mountain in the background. It wasn't just Pinto Mountain that Wayne wanted. He wanted the Shahan Ranch to become an authentic Alamo Village set, and Happy was excited to head up construction. He had a unique vision. Instead of the typical facade set, Happy wanted to build a three-dimensional village, one where you could walk through the streets and into the buildings and be surrounded by four walls, halls, and entryways. It was the first set ever built this way, a true replica and experience of a time long gone. But that didn't stop an ambitious director from blowing things up. They would build things out of real adobe brick. The day before, they would take down that part of the wall and rebuild it out of styrofoam adobe bricks. And they would blow it up and bricks would hit people and it wouldn't hurt them. And it looks very violent in the film, and it isn't. Then every movie that comes in changes it again to fit their need. Alamo Village gave nostalgic ambiance to many more films over the years. 
Each new film added to and enhanced the village based on the director's vision and the set needs of each film's unique story. The Alamo Village was a $12 million investment. 200,000 square feet of permanent buildings were constructed to serve as a film set. Designs were based on careful research and historic plans drawn by artisans who built the original missions in San Antonio. For 50 years, the grounds and buildings were open to the public and drew history lovers, film buffs, and tourists from all over the globe. Rich Carrilla has been Alamo Village's curator and groundskeeper for many, many years. I have a love affair with Alamo Village. I was coming out here since I was a kid. The Shahan Ranch and Alamo Village are currently up for sale. While buyers are being sought, Rich Carrilla and the current owner are seeking out a special kind of investor, someone with a passion for Texas film history, a buyer with a love of the past, yet a vision of preservation for the future. It needs to be a situation where someone comes in with a dream, has a, has a vision for this place. When you walk in here, you're going back in time. You're experiencing a world that doesn't exist in uh, a cell phone. And not only that, uh, but the way it was 100 years ago, even just 50 years ago, and making it a living history environment. Happy was a self-made legend. He had dreams and he knew how to carry them through. Alamo Village needs a happy owner, someone with dreams who can carry them through right here on the Shahan Ranch in Brackettville, Texas. Who knows, maybe two legendary spirits would be right in the middle of those dreams, helping them along. John Wayne would be very proud, and Happy Shahan would be exceedingly.